Hey folks, David Stewart here. Time for more Metal Monday. Coming back into it with this one right here. The most Dragon Force, Dragon Force to have ever Dragon Forced. That is Extreme Power Metal by Dragon Force. So this review is slightly delayed by lots of other things going on, but I definitely wanted to talk about this record and this vinyl in particular because Boy, it's pretty cool. So one of the things that I love about Dragon Force is they don't take themselves too, too seriously. But at the same time, their music really kicks ass, and that is definitely the case with this album. Mostly written by um, Sam Totman and Fred Leclerc. Unfortunately, I found out Fred recently left the band to join Creator, and that's unfortunate because I think he's kind of a rare talent. But you can hear his songwriting cred on this album, and it's great. Now, if you look at this cover, this cover sets up a certain set of expectations and the band definitely delivers on all of those expectations. Uh, one of the things that I love about uh, this album and really the approach that they took with this album is that um, the thing that people have always said about Dragon Force over the years is that they're like sped up 80s music. And so they went full bore with this. This isn't really a representation of what the 80s were like at all, this is more like a nostalgic filtering of an 80s that never really existed as far as aesthetics and music goes. But that's part of what makes it great. It's kind of like the vapor wave of power metal here with this cover and with this music. Not only that, but these great um, LPs here, which are this beautiful smoky purple color, which is actually clear. So you can hopefully see a little bit of the color. Let me tell you, it looks a lot better in person. Um, they are a slightly clear vinyl. Um, very, very heavyweight. Very, very high quality. They also run at 45 RPM. So I put this record on the player and I started playing it and it was like, doo, doo, doo. I heard this like low synth sound. And then I didn't realize that it was the wrong speed until um, we were supposed to have uh, some vocals come in and they, they were too low. Uh, so we heard Mark come in and he's like when the shares are da, 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 and was like what's wrong here put it on 45 i'm like oh there's mark so the records are actually at a 45 rpm because part of the joke of dragon force has always been that they sound like a sped up 80s band so indeed the vinyl goes at 45 rpm instead of 33 rpm um now that technically increases the resolution of the music, so it's it's an even higher quality vinyl than what you would normally get um, with a 33 RPM vinyl. Uh, I don't really notice the difference all that much compared to, say, a regular vinyl, but it's pretty cool that they did that. I, th I find that a very fun touch. In general, all of the, the packaging is, is great. You have this great photo of the band here with the flames and the, the, the purple grids like from... Um, from say Ultra Beatdown, which they use some of these aesthetics from that. The music also follows that. So you have a lot of use of uh, synth patches that were very popular in the 80s. Some of the, the patches that you heard on say like a DX7 or a DX10, uh, or even on some of the various Casio keyboards of the 1980s. Very, very characteristic. Uh, there's also a lot of choruses and melodies that sound like they're from the 80s, but again, kind of filtered and twisted through uh, our memories to be something that's actually quite different from the 80s. Lots of different great uh, song titles like Cosmic Power of the Infinite Shred Machine, Heart Demolition, which is one of Fred Leclerc's songs, is great. It sounds like an 80s tune sped up, but with shredding guitars and so much extra stuff going on. Um, in general, I think it's a great album. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, if we want to go through the categories, so first of all, performances. Uh, Dragon Force is always top-notch on performance. They put out a good show whenever they're playing live or whenever they're on an album. Um, in general, I like the performances. Mark sounds pretty good throughout the album, although I will say he has a narrower range of tone and um, just range in general compared to some of the other albums he's done with them. Uh, but there's some great high notes on there too. So the vocals are good. Lead guitar, of course, is, uh, is very, very good. And one of the things that I like about this album is that it is very Dragon Force. So it's a lot of the figures, it's a lot of the approaches to playing both the rhythm guitar and the lead guitar that you're used to. But there's always something new and interesting that they do and throw in the mix. Uh, some extra little melodic lines, some new things that they do, new ways of constructing their lead guitar. Uh, lots of different variations here. And so overall, I really, really liked uh, the lead guitar and the approach to uh, everything that we that we had on the performances. Drums are top-notch. You really get to hear G. Anzalone 
uh, open up and do lots of different drumming techniques because there's actually a lot of compositional variety on this album. And of course, uh, Brad sounds great on the bass and uh, also does some guitar tracks, I think, too. He's a he's a top-notch musician, and hopefully he'll do uh, a good job with Creator, and uh, Creator is lucky probably to have a guy at that level of talent. Moving on to composition, this is one of the most compositionally diverse uh, Dragon Force albums I've heard. Not the most. That would probably be... Maximum Overlord. Uh, Maximum Overlord uh, had probably the, the best variety of Dragon Force as far as tempo, uh, dynamics, uh, subject matter. In this one, we have a lot of slightly cheeky approach to the subject matter as far as lyrics go. Again, like Cosmic Power of the Infinite Shred Machine, you know, Troopers of the Stars, Razorblade Meltdown. So there's it's a little bit humorous with their approach to themselves and their view of themselves compared to other albums and so that that leaves it just a little bit less emotional to me i think than um some of their other albums particularly maximum overload or um you know their second album um which was uh oh gosh one of my favorite albums um why can't i remember it oh uh, sonic firestorm of course so uh, it's not quite as good as those as far as lyrics go but the music's great Lots of variety, slow songs, fast songs, um, songs with quiet parts, songs with loud parts. Now, I will say I've compared both the digital and the vinyl versions. And, you know, you guys know I'm probably going to say that the vinyl version is superior. But um, it is superior, but let me tell you why. Um, the vinyl version, besides being that 45 RPM, which has a, a great sound, it also has a lower compression. So the digital version is fairly, has a fair amount of high compression to it. Um, and this this vinyl version has a whole lot less of that. There's a lot bigger variance of dynamics. So when the texture thins out and it gets quiet, it actually gets quiet. And when it gets loud, it really feels uh, very full and loud. Uh, so in general, I do like the production of the vinyl a little bit better. Production in general is uh, is good throughout the album. Um, the patches that they chose to use with the keyboards sound good. In some songs like Heart Demolition, um, the texture becomes almost too thick to hear uh, all the voices that are going on, but on the vinyl version, it's a lot clearer, so I will say that. Um, we have just a generally good approach to production, which is the usual for Dragon Force. Everything's nice and clear. The panning of the lead guitars is not total panning like you'd get with a Slayer album where like one channel is one guitar and one channel is the other guitar. Rather, it's about 50%. So um, it sounds good in headphones and it sounds good if you're listening to it in you know regular speakers. So it sounds good in both environments, the digital and the um and the vinyl edition both sound really good. So overall, uh, I would give so I give the performances a Dragon Force out of ten. I give the composition probably a Dragon Force out of ten. Um, production Dragon Force out of ten, and of course the general effect of this amazing filtered '80s. Just everything about it is is so Dragon Force. How much more Dragon Force can you get? And the answer is you cannot get more Dragon Force than this. So it's Dragon Force out of ten. So my rating. For this album is Dragon Force out of 10. I do recommend it. Of course, I'm a huge fan of Dragon Force, and I um, I really love the band, and I have for a long time. So it was great to uh, great to hear this album. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see them when they came near me because they're playing the same night as Camelot. So I went and saw Camelot and Sonata Arctica instead, um, which was very good. Those were both great live bands, and um, I had a great time there. So I'll see you guys next time, and have a great, great day. <laughs>